President Beji Kaidasebsi passed away on July 25th, triggering a new political and institutional challenge for Tunisia. Asebsi was the country's first democratically elected president, so Tunisia has never faced this sort of transition. The turnover has been smooth so far. Following constitutional procedure, the Speaker of Parliament, 85-year-old Mohamed Anasour, took over as interim president within hours of the announcement of the president's death. But we could still see some stormy weather ahead. There are two main issues in the short term. The first is that the Constitution requires that new elections be held for the president between 45 and 90 days of his death, at the latest October 23rd. But the country is already scheduled to hold regular presidential elections three and a half weeks later, on November 17th. So the interim president and the electoral body must now decide whether they can pull off early elections, and if not, whether they can legally postpone the 90-day period to November 17th to keep them on their regular schedule. And Asur is also going to need to decide how to handle a new law passed by Parliament in June that would exclude certain candidates from running for president in the next election. President Sebzi had not signed the law before his death, causing anger amongst many parliamentarians. The interim president does have the power to sign the law, but doing so may be seen as acting against the wishes of President Sebzi, who had spoken out against the law. There are also some longer-term implications. The first is that this is a major blow to Nida Tunis, the president's party. The party is already fractured and operating as two competing branches, one led by his highly unpopular son, Hafid Kaida Sebsi. President Sebsi's death could thus spell the end of the party. Conversely, we are likely to see positive signs for Nida's political rivals, both Anahta and Taya Tunis. For Anahta, with one of its own in parliamentary speakership today, this could further normalize Islamists in power. And for Taya Tunis, the party of the Prime Minister Yusuf Shahid, who had defected from Nida, this could give him an opening to take the presidency in November. So all this means this will be a very interesting space to watch over the next few months.